Hi, and welcome to Avila University Financial Aid. I'm here with the Avila Money Minds, where your money makes sense. One thing we don't think makes sense, though, is that people seem to know more about pop culture than they do about their future student loans. Let's take a look. So, who were the two teams that were in the World Series this last year? San Francisco and the Royals. Good. Yay, Royals. Good. The Royals, where they were? The Royals. The Royals and uh, Chicago something. Uh, we're like the Seahawks and Royals and New York Giants. Oh, the Royals and the Giants. Yes. Yeah. All right, good. good. All right. What famous actor committed suicide last year? Oh, like Robin Williams. Did he commit suicide? Barbara something. Okay. I, 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 I forgot his last name. Robin Williams. Yep. <laughs> so sad. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Yeah, that was a tough one. Yeah. Mrs. Doubtfire. Yep, yep. Now, what was the Ice Bucket Challenge raising awareness for? ALS. Nice. Paint. Breast cancer? I have no clue. No clue? I just saw people dumping ice on themselves. ALS. Nice. Is it ALS? ALS. ALS, yeah. good. What is the difference between a subsidized and unsubsidized loan? Subsidized is definitely when you pay interest on it and unsubsidized you don't, so it builds up. I'm not sure. You're not sure? <laughs> um, is it subsidized uh, the loan you have to pay back and unsubsidized you don't have to pay back? It's not a fair question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, subsidized loans are no interest while you're in school. Unsub, interest accrues while you, as soon as you take the money. That's absolutely correct. What is the grace period when it comes to student loans? I have no idea. It's the unhappy, it's the happy period. <laughs> the happy period? All right, happy period. It's like after you finish college, I'm pretty sure. I have no clue. No clue? Am I supposed to know these things? Oh, there's like a period of time when you won't get penalized? A uh, grace period is essentially a time after you graduate that you are allowed to not pay on your student loans. And I think it's six months. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> now, the last question I have is, what does it mean to default on a student loan? To not pay it. To say you don't want it. I haven't got one question right. I, uh, I don't know. Not a clue. Means to not pay it back. Means to not pay. Quit paying for your student loans, right? You betcha. Are you or someone you know suffering from financial literacy deprivation? That is, are you unaware of what deferment or default means in accordance to your student loans? Are you unaware of the tax benefits associated and awarded to students? And at $400, are you prepared to take care of the standard repayment amount? Yes? No? Maybe so? Well, that's why we're here. We're the Avila Money Minds, and it's our mission to help you feel confident about taking care of your post-graduation financial responsibilities. So we as Money Mind representatives really want you to realize who your loan servicers are, how to pay back your specific loans, and the best way to pay those back. And we aren't just focused financially on your student loans, we really want you to have an overall financially fit experience with us. We want you to spend smarter, save more, and understand your credit. So over the course of the year, look for Money Mind sponsored events and contests that will combine food, fun, and financial literacy.